so you wanna try Filmora Editor to create wonderful videos? Through this tutorial, we'll see how to edit a video this way. How to apply Filmora's transitions. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. I'm in love with your body. And I really hope you stick around. So, as we know, it is summer. Text effects. Ooh, at least filters, overlays, especially to my friends there in France who asked me to try an English tutorial. Through this tutorial, we'll be covering all the basic aspects of using Filmora. Importing files, video editing, audio editing, adding titles, transitions, filters, overlays, and of course, exporting an MP4. So, let's open up Filmora. Double click on the icon. Mm -hmm. On the opening screen, you'll be given a couple of choices. First one, what dimension? you want your video to be in. All YouTubers should choose 16 by 9. This is the typical YouTube screen proportion, like this one, wide screen proportion. So 16 by 9 and then click in full feature mode. And this is the Filmora interface. As you open, you'll notice that there are about three sections that make up the interface. This one, we can call it the main navigation section. This one, the timeline, and this we can call the video playback section. Let's start with the main navigation section. As you can see, it has a number of menu items. Media, this is when you import your files. Music, ton of songs, clear copyright that Filmora has. There's an icon for text credits, transitions, filters, overlays many features Filmora has and that we'll explore in this tutorial but by now. The video editing process starts with importing media files, importing the videos, music, songs, pictures that you will use in your creation process. Importing media files, picking the videos, the pictures, the music you will use in your video editing process. Well, very simple in Filmora. Just go to the media button and click on import there, media files. And then a pop-up window appear. There you can explore and look for the clips, the files you want to use in your video. Let's start by picking a video. We have imported a video to the main navigation section. Let's import another file. Click on import, import media files. And let's pick a picture, this PC, pictures like this one press control this and this I've selected three pictures and open and let's import a sun let's click import media files this PC music and just do it select this one and open this is the first step selecting picking getting the videos pictures the music the sounds you will use to create your video the video editing process happens in the timeline section the process begins when you select a picture or a video and then drag and drop it to the timeline. Now this video is ready for the editing process. To preview the video, just click here, the play button. This is the video we wanna work with. See how Filmora works. This marker, this cursor, shows what part of the video you're watching in the video playback. Let's play. Well, this is the section of the video you're watching. You can watch another section just by clicking here and the marker will go there. Like this. Let's see another part of the video. This one. The beginning. This is very important. Let's stop. Let's import a picture like this one. Let us drag it to the timeline. 
Watch what happened now. Let's play and you will see the video and when the marker get to this section, the picture will appear so the video will stand behind. Let's see it. There comes the picture. That is the picture over the video. Now the picture goes out and the picture will come back. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie and I really hope you stick around. So I Stop. Let's bring the music too. Just click on the sun, bring it down. Now you will listen to the video and the music simultaneously. At least for me, I'm sorry it's not so this is how the interface works. In the main navigation section, you import the videos, pictures and music you will use, then drag it to the timeline, and as long as you're working, you can see the progress of your work here, in the preview video. Now let's begin the editing process. Well, in a video editor, you could edit videos like this, pictures like this one, and you can also edit audio, music like this. First, you can see in the timeline there are many tracks. Every track has a particular purpose. These three are designed to contain pictures and movies. If you look at his icon, you will notice they have a symbol of a movie there. So if you try to drag a movie, Filmori only lets you use these tracks. The other tracks has other purpose. Videos and pictures only can be in the video tracks. Same thing happens with the music. If you try to select a music and bring it to the video tracks, Filmora won't let you. The music, the sounds, only can be in these two. You see, these two tracks will get the music, the sounds, the speech, and these three tracks will receive the videos and the pictures. Later we will talk about this track. So, you can edit videos, pictures, and music. Process are similar, but let's start with editing a video. Well, to edit a clip, you first have to select it. When you select a clip, its border becomes highlighted in red. You see? If you select this picture, its border will be highlighted in red. If you select the sun, its border will be highlighted in red. Now, we'll see how to edit a video. So first, the first tool in the timeline we will look at is the split tool, this one. It allows you to splice the video in several parts. Let's see the video. Let's play. Okay, we're gonna delete the part of the video that has these text effects. Why? Because in this tutorial, we're going to add our own text effects to the video. So now, we're going to take away this part of the video. How? You position the marker. Okay. There. A little bit before. There. We click on the video, position the marker, and then select. Split. And the video becomes splits in two. Let's play them. Appear the letter. There you go. So in this moment we're going to split the video again. Because this part of the video, this one, is when the text appear if we don't want it. So we're gonna click on this clip and then delete this portion of the video. Let's see now. Let's play it. No text effects. That's right. Let's continue. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. Okay, let's stop the video after she says her name. Why? Because I want to split the video there. And I would like to bring a photo there. Click and drag and drop it to the timeline. Let's click on the video and split tool. Let's split several portions of the video. This one, let's split here, let's split. Well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna click this part of the video and drag and drop it to their place. We're gonna bring a photo, bring it there, take another part of the video, bring her there, and other part of the video, other section, and bring them up. Now let's use the zoom to see better what we're doing. Let's use this slicer and zoom in a little. Let's see the video. Let's play it. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to 
welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Danielle Marie okay there is the picture the picture is lasting too long we're gonna trim the picture we click on the picture hover our cursor at the edge and then trim the picture this shorten the duration of the picture let's do the same thing with this picture let's shorten its duration let's trim it Let's bring another picture, this one, let's place it here, and let's trim it. Let's see how it goes. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. There comes the picture, and I really hope there comes around. the video. So, as we know, it is summer, woo! At least there comes the picture. Picture. You head out the door while you're video. Do a quick two minute let's stop. We're trying to make an interesting video. Now we're gonna use this tool, the edit tool. You select the portion of the clip you want to edit and then click on the edit tool. Click. There are many things you can do. You can rotate the clip horizontally, vertically. You can adjust the contrast and the minimum too. The saturation, the video, the clip the brightness, how bright is the image, how bright is the video, you can change the speed of the video, higher the number, faster the video, lower the number, slower the video, very low, video. so this is bright, let's get that video, the normal speed is 1, let's play in 2, let's play it, Okay, as you can see the change is only applied to the clip you have selected. Every edit process is like that. If you select this picture and want to edit that with the edit tool, and want to change this tint, the change will be only applied to the image you have selected. You could also apply it to all, but let's only apply it to the selected. Okay, let's change a bit every picture we're using, this one, let's edit. A little darker, let's change the tint, a cool film, no I didn't like it, Harry Potter, no, the Star Wars, I like it, the Star Wars, and then we have the cropping, look at this, look at this picture, let's play it, it doesn't move, let's longer its duration, click on them, Hover your cursor at the edge, and then increase the duration. Again, let's see the picture. There goes the picture, it's happening. There is no movement in the picture. Now we will use the crop tool, this one. Click on crop and zoom. Let's pan and zoom. And there will be a moment from all the picture, starting with all the picture, to ending to this screen. The pictures, the starting picture will be this, and the ending picture this one, like this. Like you're getting closer to the picture. This is the panning and zooming effect, okay? We will apply it to this picture. Look at this, and let's play it. There it comes, like if you were getting closer to the picture. Stop. Let's do something similar to the other pictures. This one... Let's trim it, click on the picture, pan and zoom in, start ending closer to the girl. Okay, now let's see it, positioning the cursor and playing. There we go, you see the moment, we're getting closer yeah, to the girl. So this is the panning and zooming effect. Let's do the same with this picture, cursor over her, click on the picture, crop and zoom tool, pan and zoom. And now we're going to start closer and then with all window long. We will start closer and the effect will be like if we're getting away from the picture. Okay, let's see the action, position the cursor, play. 
and there we go, we're getting away from the picture. That is the cropping and zooming. So, this is the more basic tools. We have to edit videos. You can click on them, split them, delete them. You can edit the tool, rotate, change your contrast, saturation, brightness, and other things, okay? You can also undo and do things. For example, if you take this picture, select it, we want to edit and change this color to Batman film and accept, then we don't like it. Well, we just undo the theme and the color will come back to the original appearance. Undo and there you go. That is all. Well, we'll be talking about editing the pictures, the videos. Now it's time to edit the music, the sounds. Editing audio is very similar to editing videos. Let's delete this sound. Click on it and delete tool. Now let's listen to this clip. Play on the preview window. It's for me. I'm sorry if it's not for you. I'm really sorry. Of course the video has a sound. How can we edit it? Just select the clip once again. Click on the edit tool. And here there's an option from video and audio. We'll select audio if what we want to edit is the sound. You can adjust the volume. Listen. I know a lot of you guys are really wanting to start working out, working out, and getting in shape, which I actually do a video all about getting. This is going. You can change the pitch. Watch. Be a lazy girl approved fitness class video, and this is actually going to be a class. Awesome, right? You can also so use an equalizer. In one very important feature, the background noise removal. You have a clip with a background noise. All you have to do is select the clip, select the noise, and Filmora will automatically remove the static, the background noise. In other versions of Filmora, you can not edit the audio directly from the clip, like we're doing now. Then was necessary to right click on the clip, select audio detach, and then the sound is separated to a layer below. Then you can take the detached sound, click on edit, and edit the sound. That was in older versions. Detach the sound allows you to use the sound. If this is a sound, and you don't want the video, just only the, the sound, you can detach and then take the sound and do with it whatever you want. So, you can edit directly the sound by clicking it in Edit Tool, or you can detach the sound, and then edit the sound. Well, let's undo. So, the sound comes back. You can also, as we import videos and photos, pictures, you can import music. Click on Import, Import Media Files. Let's go to this PC, Music. And let's check this one. Once it's in the media navigation, you can take and drag it to the timeline and place it wherever you want. Let's place it from the beginning. And let's listen our video. There are two sounds. This video has sounds and in the background you can hear the sound shape of you. So what can we do? Well, we can take the clip right click on it and mute so we can only listen to the sun with this clip this one still has audio let's do it once again right click on this clip mute so we only listen to the sun let's go listen to it Okay, what about if you want to listen the girl saying her name? Well, click on the video. Let's restore the sound. And then we're going to split it very carefully. Let's use the zoom tool, the slicer, this way, so we can see it better. Reproduce. There. So, we don't want to listen this part, but we want to listen this part when she says her name and there is no music in, in the background. So, let's click on the video, splice it, then click on this one and mute. So, this one sound, this one sound, and this will sound. Let's listen to it. 
There's no sound apart from the music. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. Okay. The sound is too loud to listen to the girl. So what we're gonna do? Let's click the sound, edit tool, and let's turn down the volume a little bit so we can listen to the girl. We're working about editing the audio. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. That's right. Well, but you can also edit the sound. Let's see. Focus on listening to the sound. Let's look for the moment where the singer starts. It's about here. If I want that when the video starts, also start the singer, well, I have to click on the sun, use the split tool, delete this part, click on it, and delete. And now take this and drag it to the beginning. So, when the video starts, Let's start the singer tool. You can add a fade in to click on the song, edit tool, and then fade in about one and a half minutes. Okay, and now this is how our video begins. You can also take the sound, use the split tool, and move the sound wherever you want. You have actually two tracks if you want to use different songs or sound effects. Then it will be useful to use separator tracks, both for sound clips. Let's undo, 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 and undo, and the song becomes one again. Well, the transition from this video to this picture is a little rough. And the going out from the picture to the video is it's not very elegant. So now we'll talk about transitions. If you had several images in your video, or you like a smoother cut from scene to scene, you would like to add transitions to your movie. Transitions give an interesting way of going from a movie to a picture. Stop. Let's add some transitions. We more to have many beautiful transitions. Just go to the main navigation section and click on transition buttons. There it goes. These are the transitions we more has. To preview any transition, just click on his thumbnail and play. This is the way we go from a picture to a picture. Let's look at this one. Play. This is the way. How to apply a transition. Well, once you find a transition you like, like that, just click on it and drag it. And place it between a movie and a picture. This way. This look is indicating that there's some transition between this movie and this picture. Let's see in action. Position the cursor and play. Transition picture. Very simple. Let's add some transition, some other. We got beautiful transition like this one. Let's preview it. I like it. Let's add this transition. Click on it, drag, and drop between these two clips. Both are videos. Let's see. Positioning the cursor. Play to preview. The club is the best goes. place to find the lovers of the bar is where I Beautiful. Let's add many transitions. Like this one, drop it here. This one over here. This one over here. How this one looks? Click on it. Let's preview it. Maybe other. This one, click on it. Preview it. No. What about this one? Click. Preview. Let's add this one. Click, drag, and drop into the timeline between two clips. Let's find another. Click, drag, and drop. Another one. Click, drag, and drop. 
Enough. Let's see the transitions. This is our movie by now. Uh That is right, very simple. Just choose the transition you like, drag and drop it between two visual clips, videos or pictures. And finally you can adjust the transition's duration. Just click on it, hover the cursor with this border and adjust the duration. More duration, less duration. Very simple. What about if now we add some text effects to our movie? Now, we will show you how to use some of the most beautiful titles and how to apply it to your video. Filmora has many beautiful titles, text credits. Just go to the main navigation section and click on text credit button and there they are. This has the text effects Filmora offers. To preview any one of them, just click on it and play. This is the text effect. Look at this one. Play. Very beautiful, right? They have openers like this one. Preview. Lower thirds like this. Let's preview. And once you find one that you like to apply, just drag and drop it into the timeline. Automatically, the test effects come to this track. You can place a test effects in video tracks or in audio tracks. Filmora automatically places it in the text tracks. Drop it. There they are. I can see right now. Why? Because the cursor, the marker, is not over the test effects. This is the text effect. To watch it, just position the cursor over here. And here they are. This is the text effect. To edit it, we'll do the same we did in other moments. Just click on it and select the edit tool. Now you can change the text and write what you like. You can change selected text and change its color. You can change its size, its font, and its place, wherever you like. The effect and the other elements also, wherever you like it to appear. Like this, this one, like this, can do anything you like. Change the size, also, like this, this way, can do whatever you like. Let's place it in a lower place. This is right, okay? Well, let's find another. Let's explore the effects, feel more has, and we're gonna add some of them in our video. I like this one from the beginning, you can place it wherever you want, you can shorten the duration, whatever you like. Let's check this one, let's preview it, I like it. Let's bring it down, click on it, drag and drop it, let's see it, position the marker over here, let's edit it, click on the test effect, click on edit, and now the test effect is too big, click on it, reduce its size. Click on this, reduce its size, click on it. Let's change its position, its size. Let me bring it to this corner so we can see the girl. Click on this and, and change the size. Okay, let's see then in action. Stick around. So, as we know, it is very well. Let's add some other test effects. This may this can make your video very interesting. Like this one. Let's drag it to here. Let's adjust the duration to the same of the clip the picture like this. Click on it, edit, change the text and write something. 
Dim scars. Move it over here. And here. And this one. Let's change its position. And this word. Let's see it in action. Find the, find the man on the jukebox and then we start. That is right. Okay. Let's look for some others. This one. Let's see it. I like it. Stop. Click. Drag and drop it. Let's see it in action. Let's change its place over here so we can see the girl. Click on the test effect. Edit. Drag over here. Click. Drag over here. Click and drag over here so we can see the girl. Let's change the font color. So in blue maybe right. That is right. Okay. This one. Let's change the duration. Let's find another. This one over here. Change the duration. And let's see. It. Well, I want to see the girl. Click on edit. And change its position. The size. Its place. Click. Its size. Its place. And write something. Charming. It's too little the size. Select it. Click, burger, charming, take, select, and let's do it in, in red, charming, okay? That is right. Well, that's simple. This is how the test effect works in Firmora. You go to the main navigation, click on text button, look, select the effect you liked, click on it, preview it, and if you really like it, then you click on it, drag into the timeline, and adjust its duration. Let's see it in action. I love this song, but Filmora has its own music. I'm gonna see it right now. Filmora's music library. The Filmora video editor has dozens of songs. Just come here to the main navigation section and click over the button. Music, of course. And there you will see many, many songs Filmora offers so you can use it in your productions. Free of copyright, so you can monetize your videos if you want to upload them to YouTube. To preview a song, to listen, you have to click on his thumbnail and play. You can explore the song. Let's try another song, this one. Let's play it. A slow beginning. What about at the middle of the song? What about this one? Let's try this one. Click and play. Enough. As you can see, some of the thumbnail has this blue arrow on a corner. If you over the cursor over there, double click to download the online content. Well, if you try to play this song, you cannot because you have to download it. Has to double click on it. And then begins the download, as you can see. It will last a few seconds. As long as the download is completed, the blue arrow will disappear. Then you can click on the thumbnail and listen to the song. That's right, you know. Filmora has many kinds of songs. 14 are young and bright, like this one. I like it. One. There are many kinds of songs you can use to add to your video. And let's delete this one, this song, which is in the songs track. Click on it, 
and delete it. Now let's try to add the song. Click on it, drag and drop it into the timeline in the music track. Let's preview. That is right. As any song, of you can click on it and edit. Change the speed, the volume, add some fade in and fade out, change the pitch of the song, and so many things you know you can do to any sound clip. You can position the cursor, split, click, delete, drag, and play. Well, it's very easy. Just be sure not to try to download two songs simultaneously. If you do that, the download does crash. Well, now let's talk about the elements. Filmora's motion elements. Filmora offers of kind of motion elements for different videos. To find the elements, just click on the elements button. And then you will see the variety Filmora offers. And if you want to preview any element, just click on it and play in the preview window. This is the element. How to apply an element? Well, just click and drag to the timeline. Drag and drop. This is the place where the element will appear. Let's play it. This is the element. Okay. You can change the location. Just position the cursor over it, double click, and then you can adjust the position. Just move it wherever you want. Like this corner. Let's see it from the beginning. There is the element. Okay. You notice that the elements, when you click and drag them, they come to a video track, like if they were a video. They don't come to the text tracks nor the audio tracks. The elements are applied on a video track. You just click on it and position wherever you want. You can also shorten its duration by hovering the cursor over its border. And then, let's see this element. Click. Again, if you want to see the girl's face, you have to change the element position. Just do it. It's very simple. Let's see this element in action. Position the cursor and play. Right. Let's use other elements. Find one that you want, click on it. Drag and drop it, adjust its duration, position the cursor over it, and then you can adjust its position, wherever you want. That is right. Let's give it another, this one. You can place it even below. Notice that there are two video tracks and there is even older. If you pick an element and bring it to the third track, then will appear another track. I'm going to release. There is another track. So you can have many elements simultaneously. Like this. Position the cursor and see. This is the new element. Let's change its position. Over here. Let's position the cursor in this place around the circle. So you can change the inclination. Let's add some others to this one, this, about here, click, this is the element, over here, click, and that's it. Enough. Well, that's simple. Let's add some elements to the other clips. And let's do it very fast.
that is right. Well, it's that simple. Find an element that you like, preview it. If you really like it, just click, drag it into the timeline. Once it's there, position the cursor over it, and then you can change the element position. Whatever you like. Preview it. And done. Some other element over here, like this one. Bring it to the second one. Is the cursor in a position like this? See. Well, one more thing, the filters and overlays, some color and video effects. Filmora filters and overlays, these are visual tools. Filmora has hundreds of filters and overlays. To see them, you just have to click on its icons, its buttons, here in the main navigation section. Just click. And these are the filters. The filters can give them a visual effect uh, of colors and shadows. To preview them, just click on its thumbnail and automatically the effect appears in the preview window. Look. Look at this. This one. Depending on your movie, the video you're creating, you might want to have a specific look to apply to your video. Once you find a filter you like, well just click on it and drag it to the timeline. But this time when you drag, there will appear two new tracks over here. Look, click and drag. And there appears two tracks. Look at them. You see? This new two. Let's place the filter over here. As long as the movie of the picture is over the filter, the filter will be applied to the visual. This picture has this duration. We could use that only on the half of the duration the picture has applied the filter. Look at that. Comes the picture, the filter, and the filters goes out. The color returns. Absolutely love it. In the box there's two This is an a useful effect. So you can get very interesting effects. Look, look again. Color, no color. Color again. Absolutely. Like that. These are the filters. Look at this. It's played. Interesting. Stop it. Some section of the video. Let's drag and drop in this this way. So now, when we see this girl, this section, the filter will apply this kind of bubbles going up. Look. And I really hope you stick around. So, as we know, it is summer! Woo! At least... Okay. In the same way, I use the overlays. Let's click on the overlays button. Then, there are many overlays. To preview, just click and play. Let's explore some of it. This one. Interesting. Let's apply this while at the beginning. Click, drag and drop over here. The filters and the overlays both come to these special tracks generated for them. A certain day duration. And let's see the beginning with the filter. The filter will be this kind of triangles. Look. What's up here? That's right. Let's shorten a little more. Okay. And let's find another one. Like this one, click, that's right, I like it, click, drop, drag and drop it. Now, let's see the beginning again. This is one filter, and this... What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. Stop it. That is right. Well, there's a bunch of others you like.
Now let's see. quick two minute workout in the bathroom. Absolutely love it. In the box there's number two for and usually it'll be like a two to three minute workout. Well guys, we're using some different features Filmora has. We added some videos and pictures, we used some music, added some text in this track. We talk about transitions, these are the transitions, filters and overlays to enhance our video. Well, it's time to export the video. But before, let's save this project. File, save project, Filmora, and let's save it on my desktop. Save. Now let's close Filmora. This is my desktop. This is the file we created, the project we've been working on. Now, let's export a video. Let's create an MP4. Creating an MP4. Well, it's time to spot our video. Let's begin by opening up the software. There it comes. Opening a screen, 16 by 9, and fill feature mode. And there it comes. And now we'll open our project. The project we've been working for so long. Open project in my desktop, and its name is Filmora. Filmora's project has WBS section. Well, click Filmora and let's open. And this is the project we've been working. We're gonna make some final adjustments and then we'll export to an MP4 video. First, I would like our video to last no more than 40 seconds. So, this is about 30 seconds. Let's click at this clip, position the cursor over here and use the split tool. Then we're going to select all these clips and delete them. You can do this. Click, drag, select them all and then use the delete tool, click, and that is all. This is our creation, the video will be working. Let's use the zoom tool, move the slicer, and this is. There's a few things I would like to adjust. In this clip, there's a moment where she says her name, she speaks her name. In this moment, we can see her name. I would like to take this cake and move it otherwhere, like here, so we can see her name. The cake is essentially a text effect. Now, assuming the cursor is here, so the text effects are about this track, this is the text effect. As long as I click on it and double click, now we can edit it. This is a part of the text effect, and this one, and this. Let's move this. Let's change its size. Let's move it here. Let's click this. Move this over there. It's part of time. Let's change its color for some pink. Okay. This is a final adjustment. I want to see her name. Other things in this clip. This one. There is a moment when these test effects appear. I would like to change this expression and write something according to the scene. Well, I want to change the text effect. Click on the text effect. Double click. And let's change this text and write something. That is right. Some final adjustments before exporting the clip. Also this clip, click on it, is too dark. This video is, is happy, should have more color. Let's click on it, edit, we gave it Star Wars appearance. Let's undo that. The picture should be more colorful. Okay, that is right. And finally I would like to apply some filters. Look at this, the video's beginning. I would like to apply some overlay. Overlays like this one. Right over here. Let's see now. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. I like that. Some others over here. Let's give it a filter too. This one over here. This another filter over here. And let's add some more filters. And we shouldn't forget the music, the sound in our videos backstage. The song we we're listening, let's go down, is this one. Let's listen to it. Is that you're listening now? Let's stop it. 
let's click delete it let's go back to the media button and pick this one shape of view click and drag into the timeline there now let's listen <laughs> Too loud, click on it, edit, put down a little the volume. Okay, let's continue listening. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Danielle Marie. Okay, yeah, really stick around. I would like the singer's voice and the video to start virtually at the same time. Where does the boy start singing? Over here. So, positioning the cursor over there, click on the music, split, click on this, delete, let's move the song over there. So, when the video begins, the club is, club is the best place. that is right. We need the song to last the same seconds the video does. So, let's go, this is when the video ends, over here and split now click and split click on this delete click on this delete so the scripts over here last the same of the music down over here and let's do some fade out the music let's listen how the video ends Okay, also there's a moment where there's a song on the video. I think it was over here. Listen. See, two songs. Let's click on it. Right click and mute. So, when we play this, only the song can be listened. That right. I think that's enough. Some fade out to this. Click. Edit and fade out of about two seconds. Okay, and that is our clip. It's time to create an MP4. Well, very easy. Just click the export button, and there you can select many formats: MP4, MP3, and many others. Most common: MP4. Film more also lets you to upload directly to YouTube, Facebook, or Vimeo. But I recommend you to just export an mp4 and then upload your video. Well, this mp4 will call it how to use Filmora there. And you can make some settings. Resolution. This is the most common one used on YouTube. But you can also select another ones. Even this one will be okay. But if you're doing a makeup video or a gameplay, maybe you need a higher resolution. By now, let's just use this one, and then OK. We will export an MP4 called How to Use Filmora, 31 megabytes. Export, and there it comes. I will like you, it will last a few minutes. But Filmora does very good quality videos. And when Filmora finishes, it will make a sound and present this window. Mission completed. Find target, and this is the clip. As you can see, over the cursor is an MP4 file. We have created an MP4 file for 9 second lens and ready to upload to YouTube. Filmora is a releasing into tip video editor. Just drag and drop your clips, text effects, filters, elements, whatever you want. I hope you like this video and to see you in the next one. Let's end up by watching our creation. This is our clip. Thank you for hanging out with me and see you in the next one. I'm sorry if it's not for you.